what's the topic of MI du jour that people are curious about? I have a question. Have you looked at the influence of personal style or temperament as a guide to modify your communication? Like if you're dealing with an engineer and let's say you've got them out of pre-contemplation and knowing that would be a, that personality style or rational would be a value then because you focus too much on empathy, they're, you're going to lose them. Um, right. They're going to want details. Uh, motivation being research from 1984 to 2021. Like you would think that it would taper off, but that trend line is pretty staggering for data. So, and if you're looking at those are about 500 a year, I'm guessing somewhere in there, David, there's, it's gotta yeah. be, there's just no way it's not. Um, Sarah sent me this question. I haven't seen her in probably two years since she did a coding training with me, but she was in a, in a training. Um, and uh, there's a doc at the Mayo Clinic who was training on motivation in this section of this work, this huge workshop she was at. And um, she presented on empathetic redirection as part of MI. And in empathetic redirection, she said, you make suggestions and use statements like, I want to pause you there. Or it's my job to make sure we stay in the realm of that's like that's not motivational interview. Like that's that may be empathetic redirection, but that's not motivational interviewing. Um, so it's really interesting that this doctor from the Mayo Clinic is teaching empathetic redirection as part of a core construct of motivational interviewing. Um, and so so she was like, ah, it was just triggering every writing reflex in me because I'm thinking you're teaching this people and that's not right. That's not what Casey says. And I'm like, well, there's so many right ways. <laughs> I am not the foremost authority, um, but empathetic redirection like that, like I want you to pause there or it's my job to make sure that we stay in the realm of, it is directing and it is guiding. But for me, it just sure falls out of motivational interviewing as we into that level of direction. Literally, I remember lectures I'd sit in on MI with the difference between directing and direction. MI is very high in direction, but it is not a directive style of communication. 